go. Hi, my name is Ann Shriver. I'm with Coldwell Banker Ranch of Santa Fe, and I'm here today to talk to you about short sales through the lens of a seller. A short sale is a real estate transaction that a seller may choose to pursue if they meet certain qualifiers, the first and most important of which being that they are not in a favorable equity position. And what that means is that they're underwater on their property. So let's take a really simple example. And let's say that a seller purchased a home, uh, or I guess they were a buyer then, in 2006 for $800,000. They put $100,000 down and took a loan out for $700,000. Now today in 2012, that same home in today's market would sell for $620,000. Now while of course that purchase price is important to the seller, it's sort of irrelevant in the short sale. The only two figures that really matter are number one, what is owed on the loan, which is $700,000, and number two, what the property would sell for in today's market, which is $620,000. There's an $80,000 gap. And therein lies the, the, the problem and, and issues related to a short sale. Now, the homeowner, it's not, an, it's not enough that the homeowner is underwater. They have to be in an economic hardship. And that is the only way that the bank will approve a short sale. So it is a distress sale, but it's not a foreclosure. But it's not also a, um, a strategic default. Um, short sales, for the most part, take anywhere from three to six months. Some can go a lot faster, but for the most part, you want to plan on a three to six month um, transaction time. Some economic hardships that the bank will look at in their consideration of whether or not the, the property is going to qualify for a short sale are job transfer. So you're going to move to a different area, you can't be exposed for two homes, and your current home, which you're going to leave, the rent wouldn't cover the mortgage. Any kind of reduction in pay for the household, whether that's a supplemental income or the primary wage earner, you know, with a pay cut, furlough, or any combination of those factors. Uh, some other issues which might play into an economic hardship have to do with medical problems, even divorce and separation. Um, but again, the main thing being that the bank has to approve that loss. So in that example I gave you, the bank is going to agree to take to, to sell the home at an $80,000 loss and you're going to submit a package to the bank. It can be done in different ways and we can talk about that at another time if it relates to you. The thing to really think about right now, June 2012, is that there's only six months left of the Mortgage Debt Relief Act that President Obama passed. Now that may continue, but we don't know. And it expires December 31st of this year. So let's go back to that example. That $80,000 loss, right now, if you completed that short sale, that would be the end of your liability. Um, you would take a three-year ding to your credit, nothing like a seven-year ding in a foreclosure, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't have anything that you owed on taxes with that $80,000. Now, January 1st, 2013, depending on what happens with this bill, if it's not extended, you could owe taxes on that $80,000. So if you're in a position like what I've described, right now is the time to consider and really get some, some nitty-gritty information about short sales. I'm passionate about helping people, and I can't wait to be your trusted real estate consultant, and I, I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.